Good evening. Today is June 4th, 2013. Uh, this is a Tuesday. I'm speaking with Dr. Uh, Sripti Kumar Mukherjee. Uh, this interview is being conducted in Washington, D.C. Dr. Mukherjee, um, what's your desh? Uh, my desh is Bikrampur, Dhaka. Dhaka Bikrampur. Dhaka Bikrampur. Uh, how can you do? You remember what's, how was the image of your desh? If somebody asked you, how was the building like? The village like? I was never there. Never there. Only one time that I visited. I think I was probably about two years old. So, what, but what did you did you used to? Where did you grow up? I grew up in uh, Dhaka proper. Okay. Uh, and then Narayan Ganj. Okay. Uh, and then finally moved to Pilani. Okay. Um, so, uh, so, but when, what was the then uh, memory of a, uh, in Dhaka, it must have been a real brick and concrete building uh, you had. Yes, yes. Uh, we used to live in a, in a house at the corner of two streets. Okay. I think my, I was of the age of three okay. or an approaching four. Okay. And so, then why they moved to Naran Ganj? Because uh, I think it was 1942, 43 when okay. there was a big riot yes, okay. in Bangladesh. And 46 was a very big riot. Yeah, but I, I okay. moved out of there before. Okay. I vaguely remember that since I was living with my grandfather, Okay. My father was in Rangoon at that time. Oh, I see. Working there. Yeah, he was a professor at the physics department there. Okay. So I was with my grandfather and one Pishi, mm -hmm. unmarried father Pishi, a father, father sister, sister, unmarried. Mm -hmm. My grandfather used to spend whole night on the rooftop mm -hmm. because okay. of this uh, riot going on. Okay, anti-Hindu. And the Hindu, yeah. I used to hear this Allahu Akbar, Allah Akbar in and Bande Matram. Okay. Hindus used to say Bande Matram, yeah. Allahu Akbar, yeah. the Muslims. Then I vaguely remember one night my grandfather said we cannot stay here anymore. Mm -hmm. So middle of the night we shifted to Lat Shahab's house. Lak Lat Shahab. Lat Shahab, okay. Yeah. This governor's. Governor, governor's house. house yes. Governor's house. In Dhaka. In Dhaka. Okay. Then next morning, I don't remember how, yeah. but we ended up in Naran Ganj. Naran Ganj. Yeah. Okay. And so you lived some time in Naran Ganj? Yes. Uh, after we moved into Naran Ganj, my father, he came back from Rangun. Burma. Okay. Because Rangoon was bombed at that okay. time. So then he went to Pilani because G.D. Birla invited him to start his physics department. That's, in, that's in Rajasthan. Pilani, Rajasthan. Okay. Yes. I think I should say it's 43, 44, something okay. like that. Oh, I see. So then my grandfather was in Naran Ganj. Then one summer, we were in Naran Ganj, and I don't know where my father was, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But there was a, again huge riot in Nayan Ganj also. Okay. So my grandfather fled with me okay. to Patna. Oh, how so Patna? Because my one of my aunt used to live there. Okay. What about your grandmother? My grandmother died long time ago. Oh. And so you, in your family, you are the only child of your parents? Yes, okay. I'm the only one. Okay. What's your father's name? Ashutosh Mukherjee. And and he was a professor of physics. Professor of physics. And your mother? Her name is, uh, I think, Shantona Mukherjee. Shantana. I lost my mother very young, when okay. I was very young. So, so uh, okay. So, um, they all fled to Patna. Uh, to Not your... everybody. Only me and my grandfather. And who stayed back in your Naran Ganj? Uh, my grandfather's widow sister. Widow sister, Pishi. Pishi. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm a Thandidi. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She, you know, she said that if they kill me, that's fine. Okay. No, for nothing. But you take him and go away. Oh, I see. Was it a rented house or they own the property? No, rented house. Rented house. And what happened 
to your Bikrampur uh, 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 village home? I don't know. You know. Uh, because my grandfather's other other brothers and their sons, daughters, they used to live there. They used to live. So some but people still live there, some Hindus, your relations. They lived, but and they finally migrated to all to Calcutta. They all moved? All moved. Different times? Uh, I would say 45, 46, okay. something like did that. You, did your parents or grandparents, besides, besides that threat they fled, what did they tell you of any casualties? Anybody harmed or killed? No. Or you're too young also to remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, now, just remember, I was only three or four. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have your memory, but you're you're separated from your from your father, and and your grandfather is raising yeah. you yeah. with your aunt. So it's a very very kind of a very difficult situation for them and for you, I suppose. Uh, did any of them ever go back to to Bikrampur after they came to Pilani? Oh, my, my no, time. no, no. So it's a uh, it's it's a final. The journey as they yeah, never yeah, they yeah, never yeah, looked back. Yeah. And in that process, we lost all our property there. Property and everything. Yeah. And how how, how many generations do you think they lived there? Oh my God! I will say at least. My grandfather's grandfather. At least three generations yeah, or four yeah, generations. Yeah. Um, why you, did you, your parents, or you ever faced discrimination in India, uh, in Pilani? Did no. You, okay, so. No, not at all. Okay. Um, Rajasthani people are very, very polite and humble. Right. Okay, very nice. Have you ever thought why Bangladesh is a Muslim majority, Hindus are minority. Why Hindus were are not able to stay, were not able to stay, but West Bengal, the same people, is a Hindu majority, Muslims are minority. They have been able to stay, but minority Hindus in Bangladesh were fleeing. It's because of the political thing. Is uh, in uh, India, it is a secular country. Okay. Bangladesh is not. Okay. Just like. Pakistan. Okay. They are, they are mostly brainwashed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by the so-called Masadas and others, mm -hmm. which are, uh, who try to teach uh, Quran mm -hmm. in a twisted way, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thereby washing their brain. Okay. Okay. Um, have you ever thought if anybody be benefited because of Bengal partition. Did East Bengal or Bangladesh benefit? West Bengal or, or um, uh, West Bengal um, benefited? Did Muslims benefit or Hindus benefited? Did anybody, the peasants benefit or rich benefited? Is, did anybody benefit because of Bengal partition? Maybe some of the elite top who wanted the partition because British provoked them? Yeah, of them. Part people yeah. who wanted partition essentially were Muslim leaguers. Yeah, and those didn't. Yeah. So do you think they benefited? They benefited, but the common people suffered. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm almost to the end. Um, can Hindus and Muslims live together? Yes, they can because they have been living in the past together. Mm -hmm. I think the only reason they cannot live together now is because of the convoluted religious teaching that goes on. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add that I didn't ask you? Oh, I wanted to ask you, since you vis visit Bangladesh quite often, have you been to... Uh, Thakur's name. Onukul? No, not Onukul. Um. Ram Thakur. Ram Thakur. Ram Thakur Ashram in Chadga? I visited Ram Thakur's Ashram in few places, but the worst memory I have is Ram Thakur's Ashram in Kumilla 
in 90 or 92 when I visited the 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 ashram was was half demolished uh, as I was going towards uh, uh, towards a place as a it goes by Ram Thakur's ashram and uh, the Muslim Priksapular um, made a very very um, very a philosophical statement uh, which I'll never forget but this is not the play I'm not going to share now but he opened my eyes about intolerance uh, he's he said very very uh, very uh, create made a very very serious analysis and and told me that why this uh, he being him himself being a Muslim why Muslims are destroying other people's property. It's a very prophetic lesson I got from a from a poor Riksapula. Hmm. But that was Ram Thakur's ashram in Kumila city. Okay. Because what I heard, my brother-in-law, he visited uh, Ram Thakur ashram in Chittagam. And he said there, both Hindus and Muslims, they are there together. There is no distinction between them so what I gather from that is that if this fundamentalist will stay away from common people everybody can live together okay all right thank you thank you very much